Keto family, good morning. Welcome back to a brand new video. So I've just finished having my breakfast and now um, I'm just going to do my makeup, finish getting ready. I feel like these last few weeks or even last month, all I wear is the same thing actually pretty much the whole pregnancy i've been wearing like the same comfy things like these joggers i pretty much wear like every day if it's not in the wash i'm wearing them but anyways oh quick belly update guys look he is so big I am really feeling it now. I would say like the last week, I just felt like my stomach go. <sighs> last night, I just woke up like so many times. I'm having like weird nightmares. It's all getting very strange. Um, like I said, like just standing still is so difficult. Whereas if I'm out and about and I'm walking, it's a lot easier. But yeah, anyways guys, this is belly update for 37 weeks and three days. Hey Keto family, welcome back to a brand new video. Thank you so much for clicking back onto our channel. So if you are new here, my name is Kim and yeah, I am currently nine months pregnant. I am 37 weeks and three days pregnant. So I decided that today, um, I'm just gonna take you guys with me, show you guys what I get up to. You, you've you already seen like this morning, um, me getting ready, having my breakfast, that kind of stuff. Uh, but anyways, uh, Tom, he is away for work right now. He's filming a TV show here in the uk and um yeah he's been away for five days and he'll be back at the weekend and then he's gone again so he'll officially be back when i'm 39 weeks pregnant um so i'm on my own and i just thought it'll be super cool for us to like chill out with each other um for me to take you guys with me and just so that i've got a bit of company you know so first stop i'm outside the grocery store uh, because there's just like a few things I want to buy. So I've just made it to my midwife appointment. I've got 10 minutes before I need to go in. Um, so yeah, I think it's a 38 week update because I'm 37 weeks and three days. So in four days, I'll be 38 weeks. So that's the appointment. Well, I think it's the 38 week up, up, like check up uh so they'll be like checking the belly and like measuring uh checking his heartbeat that kind of stuff guys okay, so i'm just in the waiting room at the moment just waiting for my appointment it's literally no one here is he still in the same position like head down yeah yeah oh, okay yeah so head at the bottom down here yep. bum is here okay that is just running central, right down the middle. Yeah, that sounds lovely. Oh, nice. Look how bad I am back home. Uh, the appointment went really well. Uh, so, as you guys just saw, I heard baby's heartbeat. Always makes me so happy when I hear his little tiny heartbeat. Um, so yeah, it was really strong. They measured um, my stomach again because um, it's like routine check. They have to always like measure the size of my bum. And last appointment, uh, the baby was like half a centimeter smaller. Uh, but this week, he has, um, it stayed steady. So yeah, they're not worried about the baby at all. In fact, they're really happy. And we went over like my birthing plan again. Uh, there is a chance that I might be going back to a water birth, um, just because like I've been speaking to my midwife and they're gonna give me that option. Um, but obviously if you opt for a water birth, you're not allowed the epidural. But, 
my midwife said um if i'm like in the birthing pool and i am struggling i have got the option to swap rooms and have like um the epidural uh so yeah or like more stronger pain relief because the only pain relief that you get in the birthing pool is like gas and air and that's all everything is very natural um but i'm quite open to trying the natural birth so yeah that's what we've put down on my birthing plan so we shall see how it goes so now that i'm back home i'm going to make lunch i'm just going to make um some like barbecue chicken with some salad on the side which i picked up from m &S. uh just something really simple um yeah as you guys know i have introduced chicken back into my diet just because it's so much easier when i need to be eating a lot of protein especially during this pregnancy um and yeah I'm, it's not just about me it's about baby's health as well although i know there are loads of like veggie and vegan uh protein options uh, which i've been having as well i just feel like it's just like preference um it's the only meat that i've introduced back into my diet so apart from seafood of course uh but yeah i'm going to be making chicken and some salad i'm absolutely starving so this is my lunch all prepared i've got couscous um apple and celery salad and chicken barbecue and it was so easy to put together which is why like i love going to m s since i've been buying their food i just feel like so much more motivated to cook this salad i've had about three times this week i feel so guilty when i feel like i've not had enough vegetables or enough fruits in a day it's just normal to constantly feel so 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 tired and obviously it's just one of those things like i i physically cannot be bothered i'm not going to lie cooking before happily do it you know not a problem um but having to like prepare everything chop everything up like i said it's just so much effort especially like this far along into the pregnancy um if tom was here with me sometimes he'll like help me in the kitchen but i'm actually here on my own so like the best option for me is to get like food like this and like i said it's so easy i'm still able to look after myself i'm still able to like run all my errands like do everything on my to-do list as well as like eat a really good meal so i have this book that my mum got me and it's like babies eat sleep and poop journal and i've like filled it out and basically it says here so for breakfast um i've got 15 minutes to eat my breakfast so whilst baby plays I, i've got 15 minutes and then i'll have to like wash cream and dress baby the next time i have a break or can eat is at noon for like oh i think i have 20 minutes and then at dinner time i have i have a bit longer so at 8 p.m whilst baby's like having his sleep i've got from 8 p.m till 9 45 to have a rest and a meal like the, from waking up at like 6 a.m all the way to like not even just waking up at 6 a.m because we'll be up all throughout the night anyway it's just crazy um so yeah i'm gonna have to like prep my meals so i'm back in the bedroom because i can't stop like rearranging um the baby stuff like i just found myself coming up here like refolding his sleep suits like cleaning the sides i checked through his hospital bag again and i don't know what it is um i read this thing though that it could be nesting so it's like when your body starts preparing for the birth and you just like have to make sure that everything is perfect anyways i am gonna head out again uh because i'm gonna see if um the salon will give me an appointment to do my toenails again um it's really frustrating because 
I spent so long doing them last night uh, whilst I was doing my eyebrows and my lashes, struggling to reach my toes, like having to pause in between. Like I promise you now, it took me two hours to paint my toenails. And even though it took two hours, they still managed to smudge, like how frustrating. Um, but I cannot be bothered to redo them. Hey okay guys, I've just made it to the nail salon. I'm, I've decided to go for like a light blue color. Um, just to be different. These are the colour of my nails and then my toes are a really nice light blue. Um, I'm really into blues right now. I um, never used to be. I think it's because I'm having a boy. That's the colour I decided to go for. I am so out of energy. I feel like today has been the longest day. I mean, every day feels like that. Even if I was like just chilling, I'd be so, so knackered. Um, but I am going to like really just chill now um, and get this edit done. Um, that's typically what I do in a day. Um, I am on the uh, computer like answering emails, um, getting back to like business inquiries, um, and obviously like filming, editing, that sort of stuff. But obviously it's so boring. I'm not gonna show you all of that stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm so uncomfortable. I need a pillow or something. But before I do all of that, I wanna open this package on camera. As you guys know, um, we have a PO box and you guys have been sending in such wonderful gifts. I wanna open this gift on camera um, just because it's been sat here. I've been waiting to do this with Tom, but I just thought I might as well just open it so I can see what's inside. Um, if you guys wanna send any packages, um, all the information is in the description down below. I'm, I'm really excited to open this. Um, so this package so it says here to kim tom and bubba love from claire david two of your love keto fans that's so cute guys look i don't know if you can see that look it's so beautifully wrapped as well how sweet honestly it's so so kind what do we have to love this i this is beautiful so if you know tom tom's into space he is obsessed with space you guys i claire claire and david you know you are true keto family members you know that tom is so into space so he is going to be so obsessed guys look at this little nasa outfit oh my god i love it this is so so adorable and we also have a card oh dreams do come true oh. do kim tom and little bub hope you're all well uh, recently i sent some pictures to tom of the moon stars and planets that my husband took with his massive telescope after learning how much tom loves space oh my god why do I get emotional? Every time I receive a package, I get so emotional. Honestly, my hormones are like, blame it on the pregnancy. Right, let me get back to the card. So recently, I sent Tom some pictures of the moon, stars and planets that my husband took with his massive telescope after learning how much Tom, Tom loves space. So when I saw this, I knew I had to send it to you. So please accept this gift for your little one, sent with lots of love, from me and my husband. Thank you again for letting us share this special journey with you. Aww. I get like this every time. Like I read a sweet message from you guys. I just feel so grateful to you guys. Like I wake up and think, wow, like we're so blessed to have such a lovely, lovely family, which is the keto family, the love keto family. I really did not expect this video to get really emotional, but Claire and David, oh my gosh, you've set off, you've triggered my emotions. If you're new to our channel, make sure you join the keto family. All you have to do is subscribe, turn on your post notification bell so you don't miss another video. Guys, it's free. We're just here to like entertain you guys and of course share our journey with you. Um, for those that are interested, and that just want to feel part of something um i think that's like the main reason why we do this it's just so that you know if you're out there and you're on your own or you know you just are interested in us you know we just want to share that with you so i'm going to do a shout out but i feel like the shout out should go to claire and david hallam 
shout out goes to you thank you so so much for your gifts and to every single one of you for supporting our channel if you want to shout out all you have to do is join the keto family like i said subscribe turn on your post notification bell i feel like the world needs a bit more like motivation inspiration and good vibes so how about commenting your most favorite positive quote just just comment your most fav favorite positive quote in the comments down below because you never know someone might be reading it who might really really need that at that time once again thank you so much keto family for watching and if you're new here this is something we say at the end of every single video remember guys in a world where you can be anything remember to always be kind see you in our next video bye mm.